So now we're leaving the museum and are going to explore a little bit around here, the around the museum grounds as well as the. There's an arboretum here, but I don't know if it's in normally in there. But um, like I said, I've never been here before. I passed through here many times and never went. Oh, checked out this place, so you see some of the sculptures there outside of the museum. It's an art museum as well as. It's an art museum and gallery. So it has historical stuff as well as plenty of art. If you're into the art scene, they have different, from different countries, from US, Europe, um, modern contemporary artwork as well. As you can see, it's still winter months but um, but it was kind of cool to come and check it out. Beautiful, but cool day. The days have been sort of weird lately with uh, spring, late spring-like days, and sometimes even cold. Well, not quite summer, but and then we get back to the reminder that it's winter like today I mean even though it's going to be in the mid to upper 40s today still not too bad a little slightly breezy I mean, you can't tell by the well you can tell by the flag a little bit there There's this cool looking bridge here. I forget what street this is. I'll put it in, in the video. Uh, it's actually Museum Road, ironically, because we're close to the museum here. So it's actually Museum Road. And you go into the Parkside Drive South entrance which it's that way sorry for the quick camera change so it's that way over there so this is again the main actual entrance I went through the side entrance to the parking lot but it takes you to the same place you can you can enter only through here and you have to exit out the parkside entrance, like where I came in, and exit. So there's this beautiful little bridge here. There's another park on the other side. I'm just gonna walk down and... I don't know if I should go down those stairs or go down this way. Oh. Beautiful. See what what creek there are some sculptures on either side here. So let's see if this sign has the name of the creek that's coming by here. City of Reading. Always a character. Oh, okay, we have steps here too. But I like those over there. I don't know which way I want to go. I might have to do like a full loop and come back around. I think I'll, I'll do that. I'll do the... I'll go back and walk over the bridge again, come back and do a loop around the museum ground here. 
see what else besides sculptures and stuff that it has to offer may have to come back this way anyway because I don't know it looks like unless there's another bridge somewhere further down to come across the creek here the story walk but I'm gonna get a beautiful picture of the bridge here too bad this has some damage over there but it's kind of, it's really cool put it there so there is story walk so I'm sure this is the final one and we'll maybe follow the story. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. find out more information here what this is oh why missing creek okay restoration projects so they, they did a restoration project here as you can see unfortunately it's hard to see so in 2002 So the museum says it was built in 1925, but this saying in 1927. They created a reflecting pool here. Oh, so this used to be a reflecting pool. That's what it looks like. This, this looks like the original wall of the reflecting pool. And if you look over there, wow. And it had a little dam and everything. So the creeks were straightened and a second dam was added. Development of the surrounding area increased, resulting in rapid runoff of surface water and build up a sediment at the dam. Solving the problem required very expensive dredging every five years. In 2002, the Reading Public Museum developed a strategic plan for the museum Arboretum and why I'm missing creek. Numerous environmental agencies were consulted and all agreed that the creek should be returned to a natural state. Restoring why I'm missing creek would improve water quality, reduce sedimentation, allow for unrestricted fish passage, and encourage a variety of native plants and animals to return to the area. So as you can tell, this was the original pool wall at one time. And then there's a... No, I'm not... I'm incorrect. That last one said 16. Now this, this story is number 17 on the storyline. But there's a sculpture. And there's another one. I'll get a picture of it once I get around the other stuff, the side of the store. The creek over there. I'm sure. Oh yeah, there's a bridge over there. I see it now. So we're actually in the, I guess, considered the arboretum. I'm not sure what this frame is for. Is definitely they put a tent or something, and they do events here. I have a feeling they do some type of events. So I'm going to get a picture of this sculpture here really quick and then we'll head back on to the oh
Yeah, it was a little disappointing that they didn't allow any uh, filming uh, in the museum itself. But it's understandable, you know, they, they want you to come here and experience it yourself. And like I said, it's understandable, you know, that some museums can, can and will do that. So. so in front of museums, there's a few more sculptures that I'll get pictures of over there. As you can see, I, I didn't realize as I walked by them that that was them. But I just wanted to walk around this arboretum. And right over there is the, I guess it's Neag, Neag Planetarium which is, I believe, a separate fee from the planetarium, I mean, from the museum itself, but it's part of the uh, Reading Public Museum. Very tranquil here. Right in the middle of the city here, this is, of Reading. It's weird, because right on the other side of the street straddles why I'm missing. <laughs> so it's like a little, not a border conflict, but, you know, it's, it's interesting how quickly you can move from one area to the other without realizing it. Yeah, there's 18. Storm story. Oh, okay, cool. There's an actual map right up ahead of the uh, Park and Arboretum. So it's the Reading Public Museum Park and Arboretum. That's what we're visiting today as well. The exterior, since I couldn't... So this goes a pretty long ways, as you can see. So I started... Well, from the museum, walked this way, went around, checked out some of these uh, um, sculptures that was here, went down, stopped right here, went back, and now I'm going down this way, and I'm about right here somewhere. Right beside the, right before the planetarium, so I'm about right there, right, right in front of the actual bridge, as you can see. So I'm standing right, right there, actually. So I'm going to continue walking down on this side, down the uh, pathway, and cross over the other, to the other side of the creek. Not on this bridge, but there's a further bridge up. So that over there was referred to at one time as Mirror Lake. And there are still more sculptures along the way so like I said the museum extends out here too as well in the park itself so hmm. that's beautiful to see a little couple holding hands and walking hand in hand in front of us To grow old like that one day. For a moment there, I was like, what language are they speaking? Actually, Spanish, but I'm trying to figure out what country they're from, but it is Spanish they're speaking. <laughs> Sounds like Argentina.
They're doing some kind of replantings here, so I'm not going to cross over into that. And there's a building here beside here. I'm not sure what it is. Probably a maintenance building. That's what it looks like. They're doing uh, DCNR. It looks like they're doing a tree re revitalization program here as well. And if you noticed on the map, it has the location of pretty much every single um, tree and the different varieties. Argentina or Spain? One of them too. <laughs> oh, okay, the beginning of the story walk starts over here somewhere. So I, I was correct. That's, that seems like the um, like the maintenance building here for the park. Again, I mean, a little, a little on the breezy side, and slightly cold, and it's getting cold. <laughs> but it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day for a walk in a park. So there's an another bridge oh this one is actually closed so i'm wondering i hope this is there is a third bridge up that way that we can cross because i really don't want to have to walk all the way back and then cross over it's so beautiful yeah. i wonder if this was well, you can tell this is a step down of some sort. Or maybe came water came underneath here. There's a little, uh, little, uh, rapid there. Missing Creek runs right in through the park. So there's the next and probably final bridge before we have to turn around and come back. It's hard not to want to film over there along the creek and stuff, but we have a walkway here that we can walk for the meantime. When we get closer to the closer to the um, water again, it'll be fun, fun again. So now we're coming into like a little garden area called Trudy's Garden. Living memory, celebrating the life of Gertrude and Trudy Bolin. Um, so there's, you can do a little loop around here, this walkway. And then there's more on the other side. I'll show you that, but of course... I like being close to that water. It's beautiful, the creek. It's the list. And then there's a statue here. I believe this might be the final and third bridge, but I'll know more when I walk, go, walk across it and check it out. So I'm just gonna do like, basically like a, like a loop. But, interestingly enough, 
the shape of that walkway is one of these. It's a heart. It's like a heart when you walk down around it almost. The curvature of this. Yeah, no, I should have just started from the thing and then ended up back at the uh, back at the bridge. But uh, I think this is the might be the third and final bridge. We'll walk across it and check it out. If it is, we will continue on the other side of the bridge. Since the middle bridge, it looks like it's... Well, technically, that's, this will be the fourth bridge if you start from the Museum Road side. So, And then I'm going to just walk up the middle. Let the uh, young folks up ahead... Enjoy their stroll. How oh, cool. And sometimes you gotta look up, you know. You might miss something. Look at it. There's a wind chime up there. Sorry. Now that will put you a lot closer. Had you guys on the long range. I'm just going to continue walking down the uh, pathway over here. And then if it ends here, then we'll walk back. If it doesn't, then we'll figure out where it goes. But there's still more artwork to see, more sculptures. So it was interestingly, something similar happened when I went, I went to uh, another museum down in Allentown. I think it was the Museum of the Native American or something like that. It was called. I went there. And I had, interestingly, the same experience. I had the very same experience there I had to so it looks like it does end right here and it just ends up that way but I'm not sure if that that looks like a, just like a walking trail of some type so I'm not going to continue I'm just going to I know everybody's saying why why not oh cool Looks like a big giant uh, electrical bug. Cool. I didn't realize it. I have to get another shot of this thing from this direction too. Wow, that's a big plug. And the frayed wires behind it. So now we're going to head down back toward the bridge. And we pretty much kind of went to the where the end of the map was at. So uh, I think it might end up down by a road down that way. So we'll find out eventually. That was great to see the, the the elder couple just a bit earlier holding hand in hand and and enjoying each other's company. Oh, well, the creek keeps going up that way, so maybe it does continue on. And there's a view over there. It's interesting this side continues down that way but it probably just goes to the end of the road up there sorry for the uh, I 
hope you can hear me. I have my hand on the microphone. So I hope I didn't sound too muffled. So we'll see what this signage says. Oh, okay. So we're right here pretty much. We're right here by this tree where the thing so we're pretty much to the edge of the uh, arboretum I couldn't tell if there's any more um, sculptures on the other side And we'll probably go visit, not today, but in the near future, the uh, Mid-Atlantic Air Museum, which is not too far from here, I believe. I've been looking forward to check, checking that out, too. Especially when they do the uh, World War II days. They have uh, vintage airplanes. Ah... Uh, I believe you can go on the rides. They also do it in Lancaster at the Lancaster Airport. They do the community days as they call it there. I think that's closer to the fall if I'm correct when they do that too. And I know they offer uh, some of the plane, airplane rides there as well. Kali. leisurely walk yeah it looked like that was originally part of a wall the wall continued on either side and either it pulled it or cascaded it it looks like in, right into the creek from the other side over there so I'm not sure why they have this closed it doesn't look like it's structurally unsafe I missed that one over there. No, I got the heron, but the one on the corner, I might have. Oh, wait a moment. I'm going to have to go now this way, because there's a whole bunch of, I didn't know if it looped around or not, which it kind of does like it does. Excuse me, looks like it does. The lady's going to think I'm following her. But I she doesn't know that I'm filming. Probably she does. She hears me talking. So like I said, I'm not sure how far I'm going to go up this path. I'll probably go maybe to the road right here beside me if it, that's where it goes. If not, then we'll continue a little longer and then head right back to the uh, toward the uh, the bridge and the stone terrace that's over there.
but it's sort of cool that it ex it's a, a, uh, even though we we got done visiting the actual museum that it does extend out here as well. Huh. I wonder if this was sculpted probably by the same person that sculpted the one near the um, planetarium over there. There was one lower to the ground that looked like an elk rack pretty much. That really kind of reminds me of the most. But it's subject to people's interpretation. Some kids on bikes. Or guys on bikes. Or girls. So we went down past over there I believe oh no we just went right over there so this does continue and does a probably does a loop back up around here but I don't see any more um, sculptures from this point oh and there's another bridge over there I should have just continued on okay see it ends right here on by the road here then there's a dirt path here. And then there's a... You can just walk down to it. Which we will, unfortunately. That'll bring us right back. Not fortunate, unfortunately, but fortunately. It'll bring us back, right back down the path that if I would have continued walking to check out, would have found more of this. So I just decided to walk down the little hill here. And, uh, okay, looks like that, that trail that I stopped at right there at the sign, because I think that's where the official arboretum and stuff like, and the uh, museum park ends, and then this is just a local park now. Kind of neat too. Goes for a few, few blocks, I guess. From if you want to look at it like that, I'm not sure how long the blocks are here. Might be one long continuous one. I'm not sure. This looks like a little small creek made its way down here first. Oh, there's the couple that I was talking about earlier. They decided to go this way now. So they might have turned and went came, came across and then they made it to this part of the bridge. Just far down. And a nice little bench there so you can see sit and enjoy the, the creek on either side so it from where i left off over there there's a dirt path that continues and i'm wondering if it comes around this way it looks like it might at some point or it might just continue down to the end of the road over there and come back around so i'm exploring a little bit more now Nada, nada, nada. 
Pero si veía que había tratado de tener el cariño, venía corriendo. He sounds more from Argentina, but Spaniards sound similar, but, but he definitely sounds more like he's from Argentina. I don't hear the, the tick, the thick, sorry, I say, TH. Like they usually use. So, like I said, it, the uh, trail does continue on on the other side from where I took the picture from of the last sculpture on that side on a dirt trail or whatever gravel. Beyond that point, it does continue along here. Along this part of part of the creek here, and I think it looks like it ends up around here, around this whatever the street is up ahead. So it probably does that, and then they'll come down the sidewalk and then wrap around and come this way. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to continue to the end of the end of the path here. And return back toward the uh, museum. Oh, okay, cool. They have a wooden, a wooden plank bridge over there to cross the creek as well. At that point. Oh. And there's it's like some kind of a catch pool or something over there. It's more pond. And I'm sure the uh, creek continues up that way. And maybe the rest of the park maybe even continues down that way. But again, I'm going to end my, well, not end my explore, but end this portion of the explore here at this road. And of course, someone has to break the beautiful silence, other than mine, I say. It's, we're enjoying. Another more modern bridge, it looks like. Yep, it's a modern bridge. So we are coming to the end here. And actually, I was correct. So the park does extend beyond that and it continues down that way. And there's a, looks like another pond or a lake over there. But I'm not gonna explore that today. Like I said, you can go around that way back onto the path the gravel path that takes you over there toward uh, Trudy's garden as well but I'm just gonna head back this way and head back toward the uh, museum and the museum road bridge again and Yeah, even though 
Valentine's Day has come and gone a few days ago. You could still smell love in the air still. <laughs> so, It's a beautiful sight to see folks still enjoying each other's company like that. And now we have someone doing ground maintenance across the other side of the creek there. He's using his blower to uh, clean up his property. This is a really beautiful area, I must say. Beautiful homes. Right on the outskirts of, well, sort of on the outskirts of the sitting city of Reading proper. Like I said, we're bordering why I'm missing as well. That's how close we are to them. Look like a Weimaraner. runner. I can't figure it out. The other one does look like kind of like a Greyhound. I'm not sure. Something related to a Greyhound. They dropped some... Uh, mulch on these spots for some reason. Going over the little brook. How you doing? So, sort of come full circle here, but I, when I crossed the bridge, over here by Trudy's Garden. I stopped right here to check out the map here because this is, I think we're officially, this, the actual running museum, park, and arboretum begin. But the park may continue up the next part of the road where we ended up just now. Um, but like I said, I'm not, going to continue to explore that part of the park right now. I'll just get back up to the uh, Museum Road Bridge and over there by the 
by the uh, parking lot and stuff and then probably end the trip there like it like I said again I was a little bit disappointed that we weren't allowed to do any filming inside the actual museum itself but I'll be presenting a photo adventure of that Still enjoyed the uh, walk in the park, as I said. I said any mu any music you hear doesn't belong to me. I don't have the rights to it. It's just people play their music loud, so I'm trying to cover up a little bit with just talking over a little bit. I have a cage around to protect that variety of trees so it can grow more. Sometimes kids will do silly stuff and pull on them and try to destroy them and stuff. So, hello. It's like their little boy didn't want to go. He's too busy looking at the water and She didn't know she went. I didn't know where I wanted to go, and neither did her dog, so. I guess I'm not going to follow along the story walk this time around. You know, sometimes those things are like copyrighted and stuff. It's just for you more to enjoy it. The actual story.
of the gardens. So as you saw, you can rent them for like pictures and stuff like that. Beautiful. Beautiful stairways. And then there's the, uh, the other bridge. Oh, and speaking of what I was saying, look, it's like a wedding going on on the other side of the creek now. Pictures, shall I say. Yep. She was a passerby was commenting on this sculpture as well in Spanish. And somebody dropped the glove. And actually now I get a better vantage point of the uh, museum. I don't know if I'll be able to get the bridge and the museum, but actually I get the museum first. And then get a good picture of the bridge. And then there's another walkway that comes down from the main road here. I think this is Fifth Avenue here because we're right next door to Reading Hospital. And their garage there. This was a nice little walk, I must say. Okay. And I'm assuming this is what they are probably referring to the uh, stone terrace here. It's a remembrance bench. Wow, this is a remnant, I believe, yes, it's a remnant of the original dam that would have been here. The dam gate was here, that's what 
what you're seeing is the remnant of it and it would slide up and down and allow more water to flow and you can see the other one over there is still pretty intact really good I didn't even notice it when I was walking over there from over here Sculpture. And I came down those steps earlier, down this bridge. This is the uh, Museum Road Bridge. I'm just going to walk up the little steps that I started originally come down, but I was going to walk across one of the wooden bridges, but it was just a wooden bridge, so Again. Look at the old reflecting pond pool that was over there. And then it was, you can see the wall where it was originally, and those were the, uh, they had a dam, I believe, right across the road too. And they would open up those gates to let the water flow more. But they eventually removed them according to the sign over there. So I hope you enjoyed this tour around the Reading Museum Park here in Arboretum. Sorry for the sun in my eyes. And enjoyed the nice little tour around the park here. 
and the sculptures that are around here that are part of the museum here and if you enjoyed this type of content please considering subscribing so consider subscribing liking sharing hitting the notification to all so you won't miss any more tours like this places like this and like I always say see if I can change my angle here a little bit go create this adventure or any other like it and I'll see you at the next location.